an academy let's crack it now let me draw systemic circulation right systemic circulation is going to extend from the basically if i draw that in a simple way systemic circulation is going to extend from the left side of the heart and it is going to the all tissues of the body right but not to the lungs especially not to those part of the lungs which are involved into gas exchange right now the blood which is coming from the left ventricle into aorta right now i'm going to talk about systemic circulation systemic circulation is called systemic circulation because it is going to the multiple systems of the body pulmonary circulation is going to only pulmonary system but systemic circulation goes to multiple vascular system in the body like cerebral vascular system coronary system like uh, your splanchanic system or uh, going to the musculoskeletal. musculoskeletal system right we will talk about in detail later now what is happening that the blood which was well oxygenated it was coming where to the left atrium, atrium and which it passes through which valve mitral. mitral valve and this blood enters into what is this ventricle. left ventricle from there it will be pumped out through which which valve yes aortic, aortic valve this is aortic valve. valve and then it will go into major outflow arterial system which is aorta which is aorta now branches of aorta aorta is the major artery right a major elastic artery biggest artery now this, as it aorta moves distally right further it gives lot of branches for different tissues and its branches and blood coming through aorta will be go to upper part of the body and lower part of the body right all, all systems of the, of the body except those part of the lungs which are involved in gas exchange is that right now actually our what is the systemic circulation uh, should also consist of a pump vasculature and drainage right so first i will make it brief and then i will in detail now when we talk about systemic circulation the pump of the systemic circulation is left ventricle pump of the systemic circulation is left ventricle and then blood from the left ventricle it is moving in through the aortic valve right it into aorta. systemic vasculature now it is moving into systemic vasculature vasculature and this systemic vasculature this is arterial tree and then there are capillaries right these are capillary network and then eventually veins and this veins will drain into superior and inferior vena cava and and final drainage is right atrium now this part of the circulation vasculature which is starting from the aortic valve listen carefully this part of the vascular system right uh, which includes a, includes an arterial tree breaking down eventually into capillaries right providing the oxygen to the tissues and removing the carbon dioxide and other me metabolic waste and eventually coming taking the blood away from the tissues to the heart right heart as venous system now this part of the system this arterial tree starting from aortic valve this arterial tree then what is this capillaries in multiple systems like renal system cerebral system coronary system right and these capillaries eventually drain into of course from here the gas exchange occur in the tissue that it is giving the oxygen and take, taking up the carbon dioxide and other waste products and then this will drain into venous system and this venous system will eventually drain to the through the superior vena cava and inferior vena cava final drainage which is a right atrium right atrium which is a right atrium now from this point okay let me make it uh, very clear from this point yeah what is this aortic valve from this point onward right this arterial tree then capillary systems and then venous system which is going back to the right atrium. right atrium from this point what is this aortic valve 
up to this point where blood is entering into right, right atrium. This is called systemic vasculature. What is it called? Systemic, systemic vasculature. vasculature. But this systemic vasculature has a major pump which push the blood into systemic vasculature. This major pump is what? Left ventricle. So left ventricle is the major pump for what? Main pump for systemic vasculature or circulation and eventually it will drain through the sphere vena cava orifice and sphere vena cava into where? Right atrium. Right atrium, right? Atrium. right, uh, right, atrium, right? Now, right atrium is the final which place? Drainage. Drainage. But just up to the right atrium entry point from aortic valve, arterial systemic arterial tree, systemic capillaries, systemic venous system up to this point where the blood is mixed, mixed venous blood coming from all over the body uh, other than the pulmonary tissue. This hole is called systemic circulation. What is it called? Systemic, systemic circulation. So what did we learn? But no, it is systemic vasculature. It is systemic vasculature. And what is the difference between systemic vasculature and systemic circulatory system? Again, let's suppose we talk about yes. Now we are going to talk about systemic systemic circulatory system or systemic circulation. Now this systemic circulation has mainly three components. Right? Number one, it should have a pump and pump is the left ventricle. ventricle, left ventricle which is pushing the blood through the aortic valve into systemic vasculature, pushing into systemic systemic vasculature and systemic vasculature consists of from aortic valve onward all the progressively getting smaller arteries going to the multiple capil, uh, multiple systems and eventually draining into systemic capillaries and then systemic Venous. veins which eventually uh, blood drain into finally into right atrium. atrium. So we can say that, that systemic circulation or systemic circulatory system consists of a pump which is left ventricle, consists of systemic vasculature, right? and eventually its final destination that is the drainage system that is la right, right atrium right atrium so what we can learn from here that there's a difference between systemic circulation and systemic vasculature when we talk about systemic vasculature we are just talking about systemic arterial tree and we are talking about systemic veins uh, so capillaries and we are talking about systemic veins. But when we talk about systemic circulatory system, we have to add a pump to the system and we have to add the final drain drainage point in the heart. So pump is left ventricle added to the vasculature and drainage point is added that is left atrium, right atrium. Is that clear? Any question up to this? No. After this, I want to tell something about the systemic circulation in detail, right? Let me draw the systemic circulation in little detail that what is the percentage of blood from the left ventricle, right? That is ca cardiac output, right? Now, if uh, we talk about now, when blood is coming out of the what was this left atrium, left ventricle. ventricle. This is of course mitral valve, and here it is aortic valve. aortic valve. Right now, this aorta is going to give branches as it is moving forward. And these branches are 
going to different systems. These branches are going to different systems, circulatory systems. For example, at the top of the body, the blood which is going, that is called cerebral circulation. What is that called? Cerebral, cerebral circulation. Now, the blood which is being ejected, remember being ejected, not ejaculated. The blood which is being ejected from the left ventricle into aorta per unit time, that volume of the blood is called cardiac output. Right? Now, cardiac output from the left ventricle is that if normally in a healthy person, usually there is 70 ml per contraction, which is called stroke volume. And multiplied by the heart rate per minute, let's suppose it is 72. So, 17 to 72 is approximately 5000 ml. It means every minute, left ventricle is ejecting how much blood into systemic circulation. Right, it is ejecting depend on per contraction, which is how much blood is going and how many contractions per minute. The blood which is ejected from a ventricle per contraction that is called stroke volume. Right, so during one minute, if you see how many strokes heart is ventricle is playing, and with each stroke, how much blood is going out. So, stroke volume which is going out is about 70 ml in a healthy person in physiological state, steady state and heart rate is, let's suppose it is around 72 beats per minute in a given person. Normal heart beat it should be somewhere between 60 and 100. But anyway, so if we multiply this, that every minute the amount of the blood which is going out through aorta, the amount of blood which is going out through left ventricle to the aorta or systemic circulation that becomes 70 into yes 70 into heart rate that is about 72 is almost uh, 5000 ml or we can say 5 liters what is this how many liters 5 liters so it means every minute left ventricle is producing how much cardiac output cardiac output is stroke volume into heart rate right from left heart about every minute in every minute about five liters of the blood is going into systemic vasculature right but here i want to say one thing that is that human cardiovascular system is a closed system and pulmonary vasculature or pulmonary system and systemic system they are arranged in series with each other pulmonary system which is from the right ventricle up to what is this left atrium and right now this pulmonary system blood moves from right ventricle to the pulmonary vasculature right and eventually drain into left atrium what is this this is basically pulmonary circulation then if we talk about systemic circulation this is from the left ventricle right blood is moving into multiple uh, through the aorta to the multiple system going to the suppose cerebral system going to the skin going to the coronary circulation right going to the let's suppose yes renal, renal system and subplanconic system subplanconic system is basically the circulatory system which is serving the gastrointestinal system and associated organs like pancreas and liver. So, this is cerebral circulation. Here it is, suppose cutaneous circulation. There is third C, coronary circulation, right? Here it becomes now planconic circulation, planconic circulation, which is going to GIT and related organs. Then renal circulation, renal blood flow, right? And eventually musculo skeletal musculoskeletal system right now the blood flow which is coming to all these systems per minute right that is the cardiac output of left ventricle that is 5 liter is that right but this 5 liter which is the cardiac output from the left ventricle which is going to the different system right some systems are taking more blood some systems are taking less blood so 
a good doctor should know the percentage of the cardiac output which is going to different tissues right for example cerebral system it receives about 15% of the cardiac output right cerebral system then skin cutaneous circulation it takes about cutaneous circulation takes about 5% of the cardiac output and then come down what is coronary circulation coronary circulation takes about 5% of the cardiac output now you look at these three circulations i will add them together cerebral circulation plus what is this cutaneous circulation plus what is there coronary circulation 15% plus 5 20 plus 5 25 so these three tissues together these three tissues together cerebral cutaneous and coronary all these three together they are receiving how much total they are receiving 25% of the cardiac output 25% of the cardiac output is that right now we come to next what was this subplanconic circulatory system now this subplanconic circulatory system as i told you it serves the gastrointestinal system and associated organ this also receives almost 25% of the cardiac output then blood going to the renal system our two kidneys that is also about 25% of the cardiac output right and finally the major organ musculoskeletal system right the blood which is going over there that is how much 25% that is 25% right now you can see that one fourth 25% is going to cerebral cutaneous cerebral circulation cutaneous circulation skin and coronary then we come down 25 up to here we come down what is this subplanking circulation 25% renal circulation 25% percent, percent of the cardiac output and musculoskeletal system 25% of the cardiac output coming from the left ventricle now eventually all these circulations will drain into systemic veins right and systemic veins will go to the right heart right. now the amount of blood which is ejected per minute which is cardiac output of left ventricle into systemic vasculature the same amount of blood should reach to the right side of the heart and cardiac output of right ventricle towards the pulmonary circulation should be the same as it is cardiac output of the left ventricle again i will repeat it left ventricle is pushing the blood into systemic vasculature and right ventricle is pushing the blood into pulmonary vasculature right now because this pulmonary vasculature vascular system or pulmonary circulation and systemic circulation they are a closed cardiovascular system right and they are arranged in series so whatever is the cardiac output of the left ventricle same amount of the blood through the systemic vasculature should reach to where right, right. right side of the heart so cardiac output of the left heart and the right heart or cardiac output of to be more precise left ventricle and right ventricle in steady state physio physiological state steady physiological state cardiac output of both ventricles is almost equal or equal is that right so let's take a break and after the break we'll talk about the differences between system major differences between systemic circulation and pulmonary circulation right let's have a break